everybody's wrong Rewrote the song Thoughts become action Tell me what's happening Wish your mind wrapped in Wrapped around wrap, Wrapped around Alright, what is up, Prime Ethan? It's your boy Prime here. You know what time it is. Prime Time Smite. Here playing some Kamazot's Jungle for ya. Um, haven't done that game in a while, so, uh, wherever on my channel yet, so. Brought the, uh, new god Toth already, and figured I should probably bring Kamazot's as well. Um, I'm in a solo queue. Uh, I am doing a voiceover, so I'm watching the game as I, as I commentate on it as well. Um, it is a solo queue though, so I don't know any of these people, but I am up against, uh, my former clan mates in the uh, Rainstorm clan, which I did uh, end up leaving, and uh, oh, Bisharp and uh, Dragon Tyrone. Uh, yeah, so um, we got an Erlang Shen in the solo lane. We got a uh, on her and Kumba in the duo lane. A Nox in the mid lane, spicy Nox pick against a Raw, which you know shouldn't really win that matchup. Um, we decide to invade against a Nice solo and an Athena jungle. Um, that was the Erlang's idea. Uh, we did both get Wrath, so there he asked you right there. Hey, you want to invade? And we're just like, cool, oh, okay. Uh, so I ended up picking up my two if we're going to invade because it does have the slow on it. And, uh, yeah, so here we go. I think they did end up, actually, the Neath ended up, yeah, ended up spotting out the Erlang, which is weird that they would still go ahead and do the buff when they know that we're that Erlang's right there looking for the steal. The Athena did have Wrath as well though so they did get the buff. We were late but we pick up the kill quite easily. Um, and this sets off the snowball of course so now we are able to get their blue. Um, I did use the Wrath, probably didn't need to but I did use the Wrath to get the stun on Neath um, I didn't need to because obviously she's not going to have her backflip, and if she did that would be terrible, but, <laughs> uh, not going to have her backflip at level 1. But the damage coming out from Kamazots and Erlang in level 1 is, is quite, quite insane. I would recommend invading on most, uh, most comps, especially if it's a hunter. I mean, really, what are they going to do? Uh, yeah, so you see that, uh, Nox is able to rotate, which is good. I'm not sure how she got away from mid lane without... Some adverse effects there, but seem to work out. Um, yeah, so go ahead and clear our jungle now. Uh, I end up being out in the uh, well, out on the game in the map for quite a long time, sustaining off of uh, my heal, obviously, and whatnot, and bump his mask. Uh, you'll see when I go back, what time I go back, and how much gold I have when I back is, is quite ridiculous. So I figured I'd go help, uh, maybe help get this Neath behind a little bit more. I don't know why I tossed my two when I knew she backflip, but... Pop some pots to help me sustain up. I'm gonna go back to middle. Help out the Nox. How are you guys liking this, uh, this Movember thing I've got going on? Uh, or what's known as, uh... In Canada, in Alberta, I don't know if it's a worldwide thing, but we call it No Shave November. Um, basically, we don't shave for a month. <laughs> That's basically it's just it's just a fancy way of being lazy, really. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we were able to um, we were able to out pressure the mid lane. I mean, not surprising they do have an Athena jungle who's not known for her early game damage. And our clear, they did end up getting the buff uh, the mid harpies off of us. Nox is hitting roots pretty well, so I decided to go in. I think I missed my my two there. I think I do end up missing quite a bit of abilities actually, unfortunately, through this through this game. But it's not a big deal because I still do ridiculous damage through my autos and whatnot. I'm able to make uh able to make my rotation over back over to the elementals. That's that's really important early game. I'd probably say through the first like six, even eight-ish minutes, and of course they do spawn at, uh, at ten. Nine-fifty, actually, if you really want to know. Nine-fifty on the clock, they will despawn, even if you're fighting them at that time. Trust me, I know. All right, so on her was able to, uh, take out the, the Rama. 
I'm not sure how Neath picked up a kill against Erlang Shen. I'm guessing he was just being too aggressive under tower and she managed to get the root off. I'm not too sure. Uh, yeah, I, I motioned to Nox. She wanted to do her buff, but I know she can come back to mid. It's really important that you get the experience in gold again early game from the mid wave. And uh, yeah, now we can head back there. And I do have Wrath ready. Um, wasn't really necessary just because we do have the on her coming in as well. Uh, which I did see. I just decided to Wrath anyway just to get it done that much quicker and get back, back, back to mid. These camps are now up, so we were able to, are now up, and then we were able to take them quite easily. No contest. Oh, actually, I think, no, they don't come in. I think they come in on the right, right harpies. Look at the damage, look at that. That's one rotation of my abilities, and he's already pretty much half health. It is raw, though. I mean, he's going to heal up, obviously, right? That's the benefit of having raw in the mid lane. Uh, we should have been calling missing because we did not know where Athena was. Tossing some abilities for the sake of tossing abilities. Yeah, so it's already almost five minutes in, and I haven't I haven't had to back yet. Yeah, they come to contest these ones, I think. I was able to pick up that one at least. I'm not sure. I think Raga may have got the other one. Neath is uh, showing up with this uh, Erlang here. I'm not sure why. Her back whip's down now, so she should be dead. Easy knockup. We get the kill before Athena ult. So that's Athena ult down as well. Which is something you really want to watch out for. The damage I would have took from that ult would have been... Pretty brutal. Just standing up with Boom Boomba's mask. Um, I wish my mid or Erlang would have came over to help me with this. You should be sharing these camps as much as possible. Always, as a jungler, especially right, you don't have the penalty of of uh, sharing with when you have Bumba's mask on camps. If you didn't know, that's that's what that's for. Pick up some wards, standard. I finally backed at what? What time is it? I can't really see because the the game I'm watching is really slow. Six minutes, basically. Six minutes I had back. Got a kill, got an assist. Pretty good, pretty good. I mean, generally you see most junglers backing at what, three minutes ish to get their boots? I was able to get full boots and uh, part of my Jotun's Wrath. That's what I'm going to be going into next. We'll go over the build a little bit more as we go through. Um, this game does end up being quite a long game. Uh, actually, not quite a long game, I guess. It's a standard, standard 20 minute game, I guess. If that's standard, I'm not really sure. Most of my games go past that, that's for sure. I do know that. I decided to come help this. I want to camp this Neath as much as possible, because I mean, it's Neath. Right? Neath in the solo lane is, uh, is easily gankable. Now Athena did show up, so I kind of want to stay here and see if we can get the kill on her. Missed my ability there, missed my ability there. I think I landed the jump, but I'm not too sure. I might have just landed that on minions. So Kavazos, I think, is, is super, super strong, but that is, again, only if you land the abilities. See? Missed. <laughs> I am terrible. Um... Erlang's backing, so I decided not to aggress onto their their camps and then just take the uh, take the elementals. Oh, he didn't back. Just kidding. I'm gonna go defend middle because our raw had to back. Or raw's helping uh, left lane, I should say. Raw, what am I saying? Nox is helping left lane. <laughs> it's on her voice back. Uh, I'm kind of pissed that the Kamazot's jump doesn't go over that wall. Um, that was a jump that uh, made her taunt miss, by the way. Pro. Pro strats. Uh, so, just farming up. Gotta love that AoE cleave. And uh, perfect rotation to go get the red buff. Right. 
I was smart, I would have popped a mana pop before going into that buff. Um, oh, I think I did. I am smart, guys. It's okay. I am smart. SMRT. Uh, <laughs> so, I could have avoided that, but I didn't feel like I needed to. You get blinded there, but... We got a double stun. Nox picks up the kill from my damage on my ult. I, yeah, I don't want her to go too far. Um, what I should be doing to have even better sustain, of course, is stay on that puddle or any puddles that are around. Let's uh, Athena ult down. Ooh, excuse me. Uh, so the damage there is enough on Neath. Even though I did miss my one on uh, my one hit Athena instead. Um, the combo there for Kamazatsu, if you didn't know, should be um, one then two. Because your one gives you a damage boost against uh, that target. Actually, I think it just gives you a damage boost in, ge in general. I'm not sure. I'll have to go over that. Uh, so, able to rotate back over to my speed buff. Take that. Gonna back, get, pick up a full Jotun. So, we're going to grab some more wards. And some more mana pots, as I always do. <clears throat> um, now I'm quite good at, at putting, picking up the wards, but I usually don't put them down very well. <laughs> um, I just hold on to them so people think I always buy wards. It's not like there's a stat at the end that tells you how many you placed, right? Uh, <laughs> uh, so I decided to come over to help out. Uh, help out. Wow, I'm Canadian, hey? Canadian as fuck. Uh, come over to help out the left lane. Miss my ability. Rip me. Land my one, which is good. The jungler rotates over as well. She uses her wrath there to the stun. Um, I decided to go on to, I think it's Bisharp playing support. Picked up the kill on him. But both of my, I didn't realize that both of my allies died there. So I'm just stuck here. I jumped the wrong way because of the taunt. Stunned the Rama so he couldn't auto me. Um, I'm guessing his alt was down because he should have alted me. Like right away. Right away. But I did able I was able to escape. Um Yeah, I decided to go right into like just pen, right? That's all you really need on this guy is pen. Now uh, what I should have done because obviously they have uh, the the raw heal in mid and the Neath heal on herself and the uh, Fafnir heal on himself uh, I should have went for a Brawlers right away it's not like the pen is bad on Brawlers so it, it would have been helpful but I decided to go I think I go into a tight spade um, I'm looking for the raw I go up here because I see that raw got quite chunked out I think he backed by the time I got there Stunned by the Fafnir, not a big deal. I'd rather him stun me than Nox, right? So, that's good. Um, I, yeah, ring her over to come and get her, her red buff. Um, but our support is heading over to right lane to help out Erlang. Which I thought we were going to go do as well, so. But, we ended up coming pack. Good uh, dash by her. Rama gets soloed by our on her which is great uh, really good for our on her actually in the lobby of this game he said hey I should warn you guys my Rama my uh, on her needs a lot of work and you know like when you get a message like that you're just like uh, well here we go right but I gave him the old uh, BVGL that's uh, good luck missed my ability didn't miss that one she backflips so it's a free kill if I could hit my abilities which I do my two is back up now. I want to get that onto the Fafnir, which is an easy target for me to hit. Again, I'm doing the combo wrong, right? It should be the one and then the two for maximum damage. Them autos, though. Uh, he dashes away, so we immediately take his blue buff. No problem over there. Um, I'm also... Well, I'm doing an okay job of keeping my uh, my passive full. Oh, did, it just, did I just lose it? Yeah, I just lost it. Rip. <laughs> As I said, I'm doing a good job. Um, 
but yeah, if you didn't know, you want to keep your two on to jungle buff camps and keep your uh, that little meter above my above my picture there full. Uh, for some reason, we're diving tier two to get some kills here, but it works out. What we really should have done is either go for the gold fury um, or take that tower. But instead, we overextend, and this is. A, this is the result of that. So I, I could have gone in, but I mean, obviously, I would have died. You don't want to go in one by one in that kind of situation. So I just come back and rotate for my, my jungle camps. He's right. I still have the same. I still have the same two wards I bought like, like 15 minutes ago. Um, <laughs> I haven't placed them anywhere around the map. Uh, so that's my bad. I think I end up placing him now, yes, because I heard him say. Did end up getting the combo right that time, but missed my two again. It's a hard ability. Uh, it's 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 really skinny, and not as long as I'd like it to be. If it was as long as the one was, oh man, would that be a strong ability? But it's also a very slow travel. Not very slow, but a slower type travel time. Nox is able to get her root off there, so the boost, the boost. <laughs> Canadian way of saying burst. The boost! Um, the burst there on Athena was quite strong. I wish I would have pressed tab to see what her build was because, I mean, she seems very squishy. Yeah, instant kill on Raw. Not much he could do there. We uh, end up catching the Rama here doing Gold Fury, which he did end up getting. It's quite unfortunate for us. He soloed it. Um, I don't know why Honor didn't didn't check it when he knew that it was missing. But we take the middle tower, which is standard, right? Team takes a gold fury, you take the, their tower for it. Except for we end up taking two towers. Really should have seen that coming. I don't think I got my two onto her. No, I didn't. I would have got the heal back. So finally, utilizing my, uh, my passive of the puddles here, the essence puddles, I just spit awesome quality quality content um our kuba Karna picks up a, a kill here that's good land the one i don't think i ended up picking it up though like oh there it is i picked it up so i just alt to close the gap uh get the old wrath off to uh help secure my two but i ran out of mana so rip me oh no i didn't i got the two back right there so i landed the two on raw i think not not the uh fafner which is what i want uh, notice that their speed buff is up, so I go ahead and take that. Just in the nick of time, too, because our, our mid laner died to Athena, and then I think she came over to rotate for her buff. Right here, you'll see her on the ward. There it is. She was not a happy camper. If I had more mana, though, I would have turned on her. I probably still could have killed her, even with one ability and just a bunch of autos. But why risk it, right? She's probably got her team around her. If they're anyway uh, decent. I'm trying to get a rotate over to the um, the solo lane there, but notice that Erlang just teleported, so don't need to defend that. Um, this is something I need to work on: is getting those camps either like on cooldowns or like uh, just uh, at the very least a lot more often. It's a lot of farm that I'm missing out on. I just leave on the map for a really long period of time, which is funny because in uh, like season, even season two, I think I used to prioritize those. Uh, missed my two. Got the one on her, so I decided to alt, but uh, good old Erlang gets that that pin damage off. Land the two on her there. Land the uh, one on her by accident there. Just trying to hit the wave. Uh, my team does a really good time, uh, really good job of calling calling rotations. Missed the two. You guys should do a count of how many times I missed by two. Uh, I knew that was coming, so I just juked a little bit. Um, I wasn't trying to hit anybody with that. I was trying to hit the minion just to get a quick heal. I want to stay in this fight. Um, help out my team. It is a 3v3 right now, but I'm, I mean, obviously I'm low and I don't have much mana either. You and my wrath for, for stun. So 
So if I didn't get that heal, I don't know if you watched that, but if I didn't get that heal, that was instant death. Instant death by Neathalt. Alright, so just farming up. Uh, I beat to get rid of the stun, obviously, from Neath. From Neathalt. Alright, finally have to back again. Just letting a buddy know that he can go ahead and do a game. I thought we might be in this game for a lot longer. They didn't seem like they were going to give up. It was, I mean, it's 22 to 9 at 18 minutes in. They weren't F6ing yet, so. Uh, it is the rain crew, crew, though. I mean, if they're they're kind of F, uh, F7 mentality. Um, and by no by no means is this game lost for them. They could have definitely uh, farmed out and farmed out and cut and cut up. Uh, I don't know if you guys know this, but I mean kills don't mean a lot. Like it's 22 to 9, sure. Um, but in casuals, like it's not kills that matter a whole lot. It's you know it's the end game. I've literally been in games where uh, we just you know completely controlled the kills, but they caught up in end game and. Uh, we're able to win just because it's late game, right? Everybody's got full build now. They just have a better comp. If you can play it better, right? If you can land your shit better than the other team can, then it's all good. I uh, picked up the kill on Neath quite easily there. He used my Wrath just for the stun. I love it. I, I like. I, I seriously think I get Wrath on like 90... I'm going to 95% of the, the junglers that I play, I have Wrath on just because it's such a strong relic. So this is our team fight. I think this is, uh, yeah, this is one of the last team fights. I think. Looks like yeah, it looks like we're getting pretty close to the end here. I stole that one from uh, from Knox. Gotta pad those stats, man. He follows me again, which I'm not too happy about. And we're able to go after the gold. Just want to call them back, but they still want to fight, so. Here we go, I guess, right? Uh, that ends up being their surrender, though, point. I don't think they can take much more than that. We ended up almost deciding them. Which would have been game anyway. So I hope you enjoyed this Amazon Jungle. Peace out in the next video.